So night one of the 2024 NFL Draft is in the books, and the Tennessee Titans selected J.C. Latham with the seventh overall pick. So let's discuss what that looks like for us after the intro. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bonafide, and this is Section 240, a channel all about the Tennessee Titans, but from a fan's perspective. So after months and months of waiting and mock drafts from here, and mock draft 2.0, mock draft 3.0, mock draft the return, mock draft strikes again. After all these mock drafts coming out of the wazoo, we finally got to draft night. And with the seventh overall pick, Rand and Brian Callahan selected J.C. Latham with the seventh overall pick. Now, many of us, you know, I mean, and he was mocked to us in all of those mock drafts, but Joe Alt was supposed to be the number one pick for us at seven. That's what NFL.com and ESPN.com and whoever would listen to you.com uh, mocked us to have Joe Alt. But it seemed like that, you know, the Chargers liked Joe Alt better than they liked any other the quarterbacks or wide receivers. You know, I, they need somebody out there to help them. But, hey, they picked Joe Alt at five. So the next logical thing that we thought was going to happen is that we were going to get um, Malik Neighbors from LSU. But <laughs> right then and there, the freaking Giants at number six went up to grab Malik Neighbors. Now, while I was on Twitter, now, I wasn't really watching the draft because I was at the Magic game watching them beat up on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Orlando Magic. But that's this Titans channel. We're just going to keep that over the side. But watching the game, I could see a lot of things on Twitter uh, uh, of people saying, oh, we need to trade back out of there. And I even tweeted, I even tweeted, I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm going to be straight up to you. I tweeted that we probably should trade back because I, you know, honestly, I had my thoughts and my heart set on either getting alt or neighbors. It's like many of us did. But then um, looks like, you know, when the thing came up, you know, this we, we, I thought we were going to trade back. I thought we were going to see a deal, but nope, that would not be the case. So we're talking about a six foot five, 342 pound mauler. That's 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 the only thing that that that's that's highly described. That's how I look when I look at that man. He man, he he big, he huge. He huge, and I'm I'm six four myself, but I am not I'm not J C Latham huge. Okay, there's a reason why his nickname is the Trench King. Man, he is a monster of a man. Like there's a like uh, I think somebody asked at this presser, introductory presser. Like there's a there was a story that he had bench pressed 900, squatted 900 pounds. He was like, Nah, G, it wasn't 900, it was a thousand. The man out here squatting. A thousand pounds, man. man if, if my legs would explode if I even squatted 300 pounds. <laughs> so, so I know a thousand. That means that man got some immense strength. And look, we need it. We need to keep Will Levis, the Mayo Cannon. Yes, that's that's what I'm calling him now, the Mayo Cannon. We need to keep him upright, you know. And it turns out, it looks like you know. And now that all the reports are coming out, it looks like that JC was uh, the top OT pick and not all for the Titans. And, and he was Bill Callahan. Bill Callahan gave him the seal of approval to get picked. So, you know, if Bill said, hey, man, I want this man on my team, man, man, not too much you can say, you know, things like that. And, and look, man, I've been watching some of the film and I'll put some of the clips. I know you put some of the clips up here. That man got a mean streak. He nasty, bro. He 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 like to throw, he like to throw dudes out the club, you know. You know and, and the dude, I mean, he when he gets his hands on you, Brother, you're leaving one way or the other. You're, you just get up for the next rep, okay, man? Um, but for him to be so big, man, he's kind of agile. I mean, he got good feet, you know, things like that. I mean, there's not a lot to dislike about this pick when you're thinking about it, unless you, you know, unless you didn't have J.C. Latham in your top rank. But like I said, like I, everybody that I've seen, all the pundits, you know, the media, national media, local media, J.C. and freaking... Alt were like maybe 1A, 1B, maybe 1, 2, things like that. You know, you saw some Olu, uh, I don't even know his name, Fashanu, things like that. Um, but, but that, but you know, he played right tackle at Alabama, um, but he played left tackle in high school at the IMG Academy. And then he, like I said, he flipped to right tackle at Alabama. He explained that too. The reason why he played right tackle 
at Alabama is because Evan Neal was playing left tackle when he got there. So, you know, Evan Neal, I think he plays for the Giants now. He was already there, so, you know, do what's best for the team. Now, but, you know, he and he's already spoken about how he's excited about the challenge to move there, so I like that. Now, I, I'm gonna tell you again, look, we getting all our information from Stacking the Inbox, the draft guy. Now, now you should already be subscribing. She already got a copy, but I, I'm gonna help you out here. I got approval to talk about it. The, you know, Stoney uh, Keeley, who was one of the offers on this joint, you should follow him on Twitter, uh, at Stoney Keeley. I think. I'm gonna put his right, I'm gonna put his right Twitter down here, but I think it's at Stoney Keeley. But yeah, you should follow him because he did a lot of the film study along with Zach Lyons and things like that from F, uh, football and other F words when his draft class. And they had him at like an 83.5 overall grade. Now that's like two points below where they had all. I think they had all that at like an 85, but that's, I, I think those points are negligible. Uh, Stoney mentions that, you know, he has some weaknesses like lunging and his foot positions, but you know, he thinks that this is, could be something that is correctable, especially given the coaching that he's gonna get from Bill Callahan. So like, I'm, I'm putting a lot on this coaching that we're gonna get from Bill Callahan as filling some of those gaps. Now, there's a lot of stories about what Bill has been doing for other things, but I, I, I'm thinking that's gonna be a real key factor. Like I said, when I talked to my other video, the latest video I just dropped, you know, Lloyd Cushenberry said that the reason why he came to the Tennessee Titans is because Bill Callahan was here. So, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Now, let me give you my grade and then we're gonna wrap this video up. My grade on uh, JC, I think it's an A plus, man. I think it was the right pick. Um, he has all the attributes and the things that you need out of a potential franchise left tackle. You know, and couple that being, like I said, that we're going to, he's gonna be underneath the tutelage of uh, Bill Callahan. We could be cooking with grease. Do you understand me? We, th this, this was a critical need for us. I mean, this was something that we need to get done. I get that people wanted to get neighbors. I was, you know, I was infatuated with neighbors too. Maybe, you know, maybe Marvin Harrison Jr. if he would have failed to us, things like that. But this was a need for us. I got tired of last season yelling at my TV saying, hey, this offensive line sucks. The offensive line coach, he sucks. And, and that's why uh, uh, 17, uh, Levis, freaking, even Willis to a certain extent, and, 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 and or can, can't be effective quarterbacks. And shoot, uh, uh, Derek was getting hit in the backfield all along. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, flash forward almost to almost a, a year from now, and we could be looking at the foundation of a solid offensive line. We got JC, he coming in to play left tackle. You got Cushenberry at center, and you got Skaronski at left guard. That left side, I'm talking about 6'4 center, 6'4 uh, left guard, and a 6'5 left tackle, huge individuals. It could be good, man. It could be, I'm just saying. Now, again, I'm putting a lot on Bill Callahan to make this work, but he hasn't failed yet. I mean, you can go on Twitter, search Bill Callahan, look at all the stuff he did. Look at what he did. I think F... Uh, F words had a tweet about what how he turned around the offensive line in Cleveland. They were one of the top tier lines all the time that he was there. So, you know, like I said, I give the I give the pick an A plus. Now the draft continues tonight, later on tonight. So we'll be giving our initial reactions, and then we're going to do an overall recap on um, once the draft is over. So make sure you stay locked in with us here at 6240. That means you need to like, you need to comment, you need to share, you need to subscribe. Send this to your Titans homies that don't know that JC Latham is the real deal, man. Send it to them so they can be up to date. But, and like I said, don't forget, still got the 1K giveaway going away, baby. Just gotta be a subscriber. And now that uh, JC is here, I gotta move some stuff around. I gotta move these boxes out of the way back here. Cause I mean, he a big dude. But it's still plenty of room in the section for us all. So until next time, tighten up.